Hey guys, thank you for stopping by. If this is your first time, go ahead and click that subscription button. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a few plants I've collected over the past couple days. Um, this would be a mini haul, nothing too long, nothing too crazy. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Okay, let's jump right into it. First, I'm gonna start with my clearance plants. Now, when I go to Garden Center or if I go to Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever I go, the first place I go is right in the clearance aisle, right in the clearance section. That's the first place I go, the first place I look. I look nowhere else. So, with further ado, let's get started. This right here is a Dianthus. This is the color. It's pink. It's beautiful. Um, they had four for ten, so I got four. I should have got another four. Um, but that's what I always do. I always buy a small amount and then I regret it later. But I think I might go back and get another four. So this is full sun, it's perennial and it blooms spring, summer and fall. I'll try to insert the tags in the corner up here, up, up here or maybe down here. It depends on where it can fit. I'll try to insert the tag, what it looked like and all the specs of the plant. So I think the foliage is also evergreen in my zone. I'm in zone seven well six six a seven b i'm sorry six b seven a i live in maryland and we have both zones and i'm smack dab right in the middle of it um so yeah this is the uh the dianthus next up we have primrose look at this look at this This blooms summer through fall. Um, it's also full sun, it is a perennial. I don't have any experience with this, but I love the way the flowers are cupped. I love how they sit upright. I love the throat of the flower. And I bought three of these. They were only $3 a piece. So we shall see how that goes. I actually know exactly where I'm gonna put these. So stay tuned for that video. Next, oh my gosh, this right here is an endless summer hydrangea um it is the twist and shout so it blooms pink and you can change the color of this plant this plant when in bloom is gorgeous and if you watch my first video you know that i am obsessed with collecting hydrangeas i don't have this variety I actually i have an endless summer hydrangea i think it's the original but this one twist and shout i don't have this one so i had to get it and it was only on clearance for eight bucks i couldn't pass it up it already has a few buds on there so i'm gonna repot this in a in a bigger pot to give it more space because it looks like it's root bounded at the bottom but overall it's a healthy plant i don't see anything wrong with it i might snip off a few dead pieces and pieces that are broken but that's about it next up are some corabels these ones are called caramel corabels so pretty i love the color and i'm actually i bought three of these and i'm actually gonna plant these in this big royal blue pot that i have and i think they're gonna look amazing just the color and the contrast with the blue pot oh I, I have an idea i just hope it comes out how i'm thinking but yes these are full shade to shade they're a perennial but um we shall see they're gonna get morning sun so i hope they'll be okay they're gonna get a little bit of morning sun um and then it's shade from like 12 on for the rest of the day so they should be fine next up is a butterfly bush this is by proven winners and this is a teeny tot butterfly bush i think it's low and behold butterfly bush um i'm not sure where i put the tag but like i said i'll try to insert a picture or like a little info box somewhere to give all the specs of this plant but when you go it actually looked worse than this when i bought it but I watered it so it looks a little bit better. But when you see plants in the clearance section, it look like you're dying, don't pass them up. Sometimes you can check the root ball, you can pop it out the pot, check the root ball, see if it's healthy, see if it's okay. And then you just nurse it back to life if you have the patience. So that's what I plan on doing. I'm gonna repot this 
and I'm gonna give it some fertilizer and see what happens I actually already have a butterfly bush in my garden but it's not this type or um, this brand the one that I have it actually gets pretty huge so I normally cut it back all the way to about 18 inches every season I think yep that's it for my clearance plants everything else I bought are at full prices full price so first up this flat of Supertunia Vista Bubblegum by Proven Winners they they did not look like this when I first bought them they were real real leggy and dry and scrunchy and just look pathetic they look like they weren't being loved they weren't being taken care of so I adopted them and I brought them home I cut them all the way back you know normally they say only take 20% of the plants I took more than 20 I probably took 50 maybe 65 and then I gave them some fertilizer watered them in and set them in the Sun and I've been giving them oops oh, oh my god that was a bug almost flew in my ear yes but like I was saying um I babied them I babied them all the way back to this and they look amazing they're filled with buds everywhere I actually know exactly where I'm gonna put these I'm gonna actually record that video coming up sometime next week and I'm gonna pair them with some sweet potato vine these are the regular sweet potato vine nothing fancy about these annuals as you know annuals they love full Sun um, so I actually saw this it was an inspiration I got from proven winners gardeners book from last season and I never got around to it last season because I couldn't find the plants that I needed I looked everywhere for these um, super tunia bubblegum and I couldn't find them anywhere I'm sorry the bugs are just out it just finished raining and it's like the bugs they're just out everywhere trying to get at me I must be really sweet today hmm next next up we have some fox gloves these oh my god are gorgeous the color the stalk just the way they sit on it I am just actually here's the tag it's a pollinated flower actually and hummingbirds I think love these um, and that's the only thing I don't have in my garden hummingbirds I don't know if it's the area where I live or if they just don't come up this far you know I'm not sure but I love the color and it seemed like purple is my theme this year I have a lot of purple going on so far and I just keep on adding because even though purple is not my favorite I'm starting to love purple it just looks good so I bought two of these next thing is a flat of sun petunias the color the color just caught my eye I'm going for like all the bright pop this year these are sun petunias nothing too fancy they get about I think 12 to 24 inches tall and wide and I'm just gonna pop them in some empty spaces where I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those just yet so they will fill in and take up that spot and I think that's it for this video that was pretty short um maybe i need to go buy more plants because that wasn't enough i'm already like the video is over already anyway thank you guys for stopping by thank you for watching this video please like comment and subscribe subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys